Yeah, I think like it's run by a polyglot. So like the 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 founder really knows like that really cares about language learning and teaching. And yeah, I think it's like they they don't have all languages, but they are interested in all languages. So they they still they are still looking for for teachers. We are live. Okay. Hello, Tamam. Uh, you reached out to me and told me that you teach on a couple platforms. You teach on iTalki. Mm -hmm. You teach uh, Levantine Arabic. Um, so I'm going That's to right. be asking you all about this. I'm going to ask you about your experience as a med student today. But before we dive in, would you mind just introducing yourself to people watching? Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me. I'm Tamam. I'm from Syria. I'm th uh, 23 years old and I'm a med student, as you said. And yeah, I've been teaching Levantine Arabic for about a year now. Very good. So yeah. I'd like to start by asking about your studies, actually, not even as a teacher, but as a med student, because I've noticed that some of the most successful students, teachers on italki are actually content mm -hmm. specialists. So people who specialize in business, who specialize in medicine. So I wonder, has your, your uh, you know, the fact that you study medicine, have your students ever asked you specific questions about this? Has this helped you as a teacher at all? Yeah, yeah, I think it, it has helped me in some way. For example, I have a student who is also a med student and he's interested in like knowing how to speak with patients in Arabic and yeah, how to take a medical history, for example. And <clears throat> yeah, I have a lot of students who ask me about medical terminology and stuff like that. So yeah, I think, yeah, it has helped me. That's yeah. great. It's fantastic if your kind of content knowledge and your discipline helps you with this. Um, so that's brilliant. You said that you teach on a couple platforms. So would you mind telling us about your experience on italki and what the other platform is and what your experience has been like on polytripper mm -hmm. yeah so yeah my my experience on italki has been good so far i i noticed the last maybe a couple of months like it has it, it's it was not like the the beginning i don't know like i noticed uh, maybe it was because the like the situation in europe and yeah, maybe like the number of students taking lessons is not as as big as before. So yeah, but the other platform, yeah, it's Polytripper. And um yeah, I, I actually I, I, I don't remember how I knew about it because it's it's not very popular. Like a lot of people, yeah, ha haven't heard about it yet. So it's it's relatively new. I think it's maybe one or two years old. And uh, yeah, like the, the good thing about it is their, their commission is only 5%, like italki, yeah. Yeah, italki <laughs> wow. is 15%, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's a big difference. difference. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think like it's run by a polyglot. So like the, the, the founder really knows, like that really cares about language learning and teaching. And yeah, I think it's like, they, they don't have, all languages, but they are interested in all languages. So they they still they are still looking for for teachers for other languages. I think maybe Spanish is the the most popular language there. Like it has the most number of teachers. Yeah, but the, the problem is yeah that like the because it's not so known. So the the number of students is also not that great. So I maybe I I got um, my first students. A year after signing up but I was really like I wasn't really um yeah I wasn't really like active on it that much yeah but I think if 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 I would like if if maybe someone would like to promote their account and yeah like, like they would get students there yeah very good excellent well thank you for telling us and me about this because I never mm -hmm. knew about Polytripper. Um, mm -hmm. I've spoken to other teachers this week about Preply and about um, mm -hmm. Amazing Talker, but I've never heard about Polytripper. So that's really useful because a lot of 
self like we're self-employed times are tough yeah. for a lot of yeah. teachers and you know you get what you could get so a lot of people um need to work on multiple platforms so that's mm -hmm. really useful as for um the situation in Europe, I haven't, this has not come up in any of my interviews so far. So I'd just like to ask a qu quick question about that. Do you, where, where are your students from? Are a lot of them from Eastern Europe? No, actually, most of my students are from the US, the UK, and like Germany, France, like Central and Western Europe. Yeah, I, I don't have any students from Eastern Europe, but even, even the students in in Central Europe, like some some of them has told me, has told me like we need a break, like it's too much going on. Oh, yeah. So, I see. Yeah. okay, okay, I got you. All right. Well, I'm going to put your uh, profile for Italki and for Poly Tripper in the box below. If you have any okay, other, great, things, you could send them to me. So I I hope that could be of help. Um, but uh, th that's good. I'm I'm glad you've been able to find um a uh you know a couple platforms that have been rather successful for you that's fantastic um i wanted to know about your uh the languages you teach because of course you teach arabic levantine arabic so tamam um compared to other um other dialects of arabic if you will um do do some people book with you specifically because of the kind of arabic that you teach or is it just because you're an arabic teacher in general yeah actually all of my students like book lessons for me because i teach this specific dialect right. because yeah because like most people don't know like we have a standard language and dialects but the standard language is only a written language so it's not a spoken language so yeah even even arabs don't speak the, the formal uh, standard language so yeah so that's why students li would love to learn a dialect because they want to communicate with Arabs and that's the most important thing. So yeah, they, yeah. So all of my students learn specifically Levantine Arabic. That's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause I, I started uh, dabbling with Arabic a little bit and I know in every comment section of every video on MSA, people are saying people don't talk this way. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, yeah. We speak the dialect. <laughs> So uh, this is good, especially because a lot of people are so far removed from uh, from the Arabic speaking world and uh, mm -hmm. like Arabic as a language, it's very intimidating to a lot of people in Canada in my home country um, who are mm -hmm. monolinguals, especially. And um, and I think it's great to shed light on this. Right. Uh, so that yeah. we have yeah. a better idea. You know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, you spoke about Polytripper, run by a polyglot. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Are you a polyglot, sir? Um, yeah, I don't know if I can call myself a polyglot. So I speak Arabic, my native language, and obviously English too. And I speak French and German, but like, yeah, I, I don't know if I can speak them fluently. So yeah, four languages, I don't know if that counts as a polyglot, but, but I'm willing to learn more in the future. Fantastic. Are there any on your bucket list? Any specific ones you want to learn? Yes, like Spanish on yeah, Spanish and Turkish are on the top of my list. That's yeah. beautiful. Great. Excellent. Um, yeah, I haven't spoken about language learning with a lot of the interviewees I've had so far. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not because it hasn't been like all of the people I've spoken to, I think, have in multilinguals but it's just it i forgot to ask so tamam could you please tell us what is your uh like your plan your your language learning plan oh yeah so i i want to start with a course or a book or something like this and then just like listening to a lot of music and YouTube videos and like, yeah, just consuming a lot of content in that language. But yeah, I, like when I first start, I like to start with a structured method. Yeah. That's great. Fantastic. Yeah. And I think, I think learning, like learning a language is also good as a teacher because you, you have the pers like the point of view of your student, like how is it to learn a language and yeah like i like ex experimenting with various methods and yeah like seeing how how this can can be of use to my students 
Yeah, man, I think this is a very controversial issue among monolinguals in uh, the English, kind of the inner circle of English countries like Canada, America, UK, um, because people seem like my kind of colleagues seem to get very um, uncomfortable when I, when we bring this up because mm -hmm. a lot of people monolinguals feel guilty for not learning a language yeah but i would be the first to say i think one of the most overshadowed competencies of a good teacher is language learning right and exactly as you said right there just to have the experience of learning a language and understanding what goes into it it could be incredibly important um, for for teachers